Hi, these comments are for NU. I am Michael from OTC Online, TOEFLCourse.com, and uh, I'm getting ready to listen to your integrated speaking practice, and you completed this one <coughs> without any memorized templates. Good for you. Now, you can create your own templates, right? Just don't use anybody else's. That's my recommendation for my students. So I, I think that, uh, let, let's see how you did. Uh, this is an uh, integrated speaking practice, right? Okay, here we go. According to the announcement, the university is planning to close the coffee house on campus because they think that it is not being utilized by the students as uh, most of the time it can be seen empty. And secondly, they feel that lighting in the coffee house is very poor and is not good enough for students to study. The woman disagrees with this idea for two reasons. Firstly, she mentions that the reason why the coffee house can be seen empty during the day is because that time students are occupied with their classes, jobs or studies. Hence, they do not have the time to go to the coffee house. However, in the evening, this coffee house can be seen pretty much full because that's the time when uh, students are free and that way they can go there and uh, study or relax. Secondly, she feels that although lighting used to be a problem in the coffee house, however, after the renovations, there is enough light on almost every desk and there is no, no more any lightning issue. That's why she disagrees with the idea of closing of the coffee house. Wow. So you don't have any problems with the structure. I think this is a, a very organized... <coughs> <coughs> it's a it's an organized response it's very clear what information comes from the maybe the campus announcement or the reading passage we know what's coming from the listening passage we know how the students are reacting to the notice so I, I think your topic development and your language use was very strong so I think delivery was also pretty good so I think you're at least um, I think you're getting close to 26 on this. I'm going to say 24 to 26 points out of 30. All right, let's listen to it <coughs> one more time. All right. According to the announcement, the university is planning to close the coffee house on campus. Okay, so then say planning. You just want to pronounce the P with more aspiration. Because they think that it is not being utilized by the students as uh, most of the time it can be seen empty. I would say because officials or administrative personnel maybe give a more specific <coughs> noun there instead of saying they. And secondly, they feel that lighting in the coffee house is very poor and is not good enough for students to study. The woman disagrees with this idea for two reasons. Okay. Firstly, she... And I like how you kind of state that idea and that helps you to organize the listening passage part of the mentions spot. that the reason why the coffee house can be seen empty during the day is... I would just say, first, she mentions the coffee house is empty during the day because that's a more concise way to say that. Because at that time, students are occupied with their classes, jobs, or studies. Hence, they do not have the time to go to the coffee house. Yeah, I like your use of the word hence to show a cause-effect relationship there. However, in the evening, this coffee house can be seen pretty much full because that's the time when uh, students are free and that way they can go there and uh, study or relax. Secondly, she feels that although lighting used to be a problem in the coffee house, however, after the renovations, there is enough light on almost every desk and there is no, no more any lightning issue. That's why she disagrees. So that was a little bit difficult how you explain the lighting thing, right? So the renovations made the lighting much better for students intending to study in the coffee house, right? With the idea of closing of the coffee house. 
So that was really the only language use problem was when you were trying to describe the lighting situation, particularly after the renovations in the coffee shop. So that's the only area you can probably improve upon. So that's a language use issue, but overall your delivery is clear, you had great topic development, and uh, pretty good language use for the most part. So I'm going to put you a score between 24 and 26 points out of 30 uh, on this practice test. I, I, I could probably even say maybe between 25 and 27 is probably a pretty good estimation right now. So excellent work. Uh, on that, I think <coughs> the way that you organized the response was very effective. So looks like you figured out how to present uh, the the integrated task three in a coherent <coughs> and complete and accurate manner.